Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. In today's video, I'm bringing you a wear update on my pair of Stanton boots from Caswell Bootmaker. For those of you who haven't seen, I have a number of videos that includes an introduction, unboxing, and feature of this boot. As well. Now I wanted to come back to this boot a few months later to show you what it looks like after a bit of wear. So here we go. This is a beautiful makeup made from a washed kangaroo hide from the Merriam Tannery. It doesn't really crease. You can see that it forms these beautiful rolls right here, 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 and here, almost akin to shell cordovan, but the material is a lot softer and thinner, uh, more comfortable, more readily breaking in, and just easy to patina as well. And that was something that I was very impressed with right off the bat, is that this pair forms beautiful rolls. And so if you're looking for a boot that has striking looks with this contrast stitching on the upper that lines both the back heel counter, the side paneling, the facing, and this mock toe, which is a faux mock toe. You can see how beautifully that stitching stands out over time and now is complemented by the patina and aging formed by the rolls. Just bringing to bear the other boot here, you can see again that roll formed. I will say that the first of these rolls appears to be created in the interface between the uh, structured toe um, and the toe stiffener here and the rest of the vamp, but it's not unsightly. You can really see that there is a little stiffener right here, but overall very nice. You can see that there is a slight bit of fading of the pigment that was used to essentially uh, dye this leather, um, but it does form these beautiful almost areas of fading that I think are really, really pretty uh, along with the rolls. So I'm a really big fan of the way that this particular boot is clicked, what it looks like when it rolls and fades and ages, um, and how the contrast stitching interplays with all of this design. So I have to give credit to Kevin Wilson to really come together to think about an idea such as this boot that seems to have been executed exceptionally well. So this is probably about four to five months of consistent wear, probably once, occasionally twice per week. You can see that I do have some heel drag here and the Vibram Laundra sold otherwise has held up pretty well. Um, and you can see that there's little marks on the edge of the dressing here from wear, but nothing too egregious. I do care for my shoes and keep them in warm, dry environments when I'm storing them. And I certainly have a substantial shoe rotation but with consistent wear, the shoe is going to break in rather well and form those desirable rolls that people look for in some of the boots that they get from Japan, such as Clinch, XBXS Boots Factory out of China, and you're seeing it here too in Caswell's uh, Stanton model, which is from their Spanish line and is made of this washed kangaroo. I can wear this to work and I can wear it uh, out on the town as well for more casual wear. The speed hooks uh, do hold up quite well. I will say that I had one of my speed hooks uh, deform a little bit in terms of collapsing down against the leather. Made it a little bit hard to, to lace up for a while, but then I was able to essentially use a, a little pen to kind of pry it free and back, open it back up. Not a huge deal. At a price point around $350, you really can't go wrong. The stitching is impeccable. The outsole construction is fantastic. The comfort is really wonderful. And as you can see, the shoe's leather is aging very gracefully and well and with character that is appealing, not something that comes off as unsightly or old, so to speak. So go look at Caswell Bootmaker. Take another look, tell me what you think. And uh, I'm a huge fan of the brand and look forward to securing more pairs. Um, drop in my wallet in the near future to pick up one of their Indonesian makeups in their hand welted line hopefully sometime in 2024. So hope you're doing well. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.